Dear partners in prayers, I want to welcome you to the, my first director's update. Recently, my associates and I and some, some of our staff, we met for the time of retreat in Singapore. There we pray for one another, we shared our dreams, and also refined the visions that God has placed in our hearts. The dreams that we shared with you earlier this year in Bangkok, we grouped these dreams into five passions, and we call them unity, spiritual growth, globalization, leadership training, and mission. And we are looking forward to the months ahead where we can unpack these passions with the rest of you in the movement. Another development that took place while I was in Singapore was the search for the international office. And we think we have found a place. It belonged to a like-minded mission organization and they are thinking of relocating their office to another part of Singapore and they have offered about 3,000 to 5,000 square feet of space for our use. Please pray with us as we continue to negotiate and trust God for this place. We want to thank Peter and Wynne Maiden for their 40 years of faithful and remarkable service to OM. As International Director Emeritus, Peter will continue to represent our movement in churches, conventions and conferences. We wish Peter and Wynne Godspeed as they embark on a new chapter in their lives. I'm excited to be here at the OM conference in the Netherlands. It is, it is exciting to see 240 plus new team members joining us for the year program or longer. I look forward to spending time with them and hear their stories. Last month in Malaysia, seven young people got together in Sarimban to begin the EAP leadership program. It is a 12 month leadership program that focuses on developing spiritual characters, competency, and leadership skills and we hope to see more people from Asia are trained and equipped for leadership roles within the movement. I'm here at the GO conference and I have with me Lisin from Malaysia who is joining us for a two-year program. Hi I'm Lisin, I'm heading to Japan to the tsunami affected area for two years. Uh, please pray for me and for other people who are going to the field. I really look forward to more Malaysian missionaries going to Japan or the rest of the world. Here at the GO conference, we have 30 plus team members joining us in a year program in the Middle East. Middle East continue to be a major challenge for us, a prayer item for stability, for access for the gospel, and also for the safety of all our colleagues spread across that region. And I have with me here Robert Yan, field leader for OM Netherlands, he who, have, who have spent more than 12 years in the Middle East. I've asked Robert to share with us some prayer requests for that region. Just in the last week, in Interlaken, Switzerland, many Arabs were reached with the gospel. Over 400 meaningful conversations took place between team members and Arabs from countries like Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, I'd like you to pray for these people who have received a gospel, seen the Jesus film, and perhaps are now on their way back to those countries with the Bible in their pocket. Please pray that they will get to know the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Praise the Lord. And please continue to pray for our work there in the Middle East. For more information about our work in North Africa, Middle East, and from across the world, please visit, visit us at our website at om.org. Go Conference is one of the wonderful places to meet many OMers from around the world. I have with me now Melissa from Costa Rica and yes. I would like Melissa to share some prayer requests for your country. Tell us what you do. Yes, I work in OM Costa Rica in the area of personnel. We have two major ministries. One is a women's project called Prayer Process and that's dealing with women in need. Mm -hmm. So we teach them how to sew and also we give them a Bible study. Wow. And, and then the other one is in the indigenous area of Costa Rica. And that project, it's called Vive Talamanca. So live Vive Talamanca, Talamanca okay. because Talamanca. it's a total indigenous wow. experience that we are reaching there. Good. So you're reaching out to the indigenous people yes. in Costa Rica. Yeah. Well, thank you, Melissa. This is just one of the many projects we have in Latin America. I just read recently at a conference in Brazil, more than 100 mm -hmm. people from different states came wow. to attend this missions program. Mark Knight was the main speaker 
And after the three-day conference, some, several people came forward to talk about their interests to join OM mm -hmm. and to commit their lives to mission fields. Latin America represents one of the potential areas mm -hmm. to send out uh, missionaries into places like Africa, Northern Africa, Middle East. They are adaptable, they are flexible, and their culture <laughs> makes it easy for them uh, to function uh, in the society. So pray for Latin America and Amen. pray that God will continue to move and raise up workers from these nations into the world. My prayer for us all as a movement is that we will continue to encourage and spur one another on to impact the world for our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for standing with us in prayers.